The enrolled student task can only execute whilst new enrollments are being accepted. This is after the open enrollment task has completed and before the close of enrollment task commences. Hi, my name is Andreas Hense and this video is part of a series on BPMN and workflow patterns. Today we look at the milestone pattern. A task is only enabled when the process instance of which it is part is in a specific state, typically a parallel branch. The state is assumed to be a specific execution point also known as a milestone in the process model. When this execution point is reached, the nominated task can be enabled. If the process instance has progressed beyond this state, then the task cannot be enabled now or at any future time. That is, the deadline has passed. You can see the behavior in the original flash animation. So in this flash animation, we will see how this works. So after the end split we have A and B, D and so on. So before we reach the milestone, which is this dashed circle, if we come to the deferred choice here, we only have the option to choose F and we go F complete, G complete and then we can complete B, reach the milestone, complete C and we're done. In the next case we will now see that we reach the milestone at the right time. So here we have completed B, we are at the milestone and now if we choose here we also have the option E. So we go to E, we finish E, we go to D again and now let's say we pass the milestone, we complete D and now we don't have the option E anymore so we go to F and we can complete this in any order. In BPMN we can model this with an event subprocess that starts with a non-interrupting message receiving event and a process variable that contains the state of the milestone. Okay, this is our process here, process model, and we have the main process on top and we have an event sub-process below. Um, so we first start by opening the enrollment. This is a manual task and then there is a script task setting the variable enrollment to open. And then we have a timer here that waits for 14 days. And during that time when the enrollment is open, we ask for the value of this variable and we can enroll students. We can enroll as many students as we like. So now we assume that the 14 days have passed and we go to set enrollment to close, another script task and now uh, we wait here before we close off enrollment and if during that time when this um, milestone has passed we try to enroll a student here um, it will just not do it. It will just go around this enroll student task and after that we close off environment and the process is finished. Thank you for watching.